inspiration must come from a sincere heart. Because of our strong desire to sing with excellence, we are committed to training, rehearsals, and performances. Our personal mission here is to pursue an education. Our personal focus here is to study and pass. And our personal goal here is to graduate. We must take advantage of every opportunity that helps us to successfully complete our personal mission and avoid any negative forces that might distract us from this mission. We must strive to achieve good judgment that develops wise choices, effective decisions, and productive attitudes. We must manage our time wisely and guard ourselves from reckless activities and draining relationships. When our mission is completed and the time has come for us to move on, our commitment to this group will never die and will be reflected in our continued moral support. We will leave a legacy of excellence for others to value, enjoy, and continue with pride to pass on to future generations. Silence. Soylent, the queen is ordered silence. She's ordered 20 mattresses, the biggest and the best. And she's threatened execution if you dare disturb the rest of her very special guests. She's ordered silence! Get everybody hype, get everybody stood up. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got to shake palms. Oh, wow. It's all you, brother. <laughs> Show the new people what all the talent we got. What's up? Uh, you got to get them standing up, too. I want y'all stand up for me real quick. No. <laughs> I said stand up. Ooh, no. El Perdue. All right. Are we gonna sing or we gonna say the words? You wanna sing it? Sing it. Are we clapping? Ready? One, two, three, go. To your call once more, we rally on the water, give our praise. Where the war best friend is, belly do it, do it, our voices raise. From the silence, we're leading the ghosts of the tears that tell the tale. Of your friends, we gather here, we'll come for you, we sing all hell. Hell, hell to all, Purdue, all hell to all, hold on to black. Hell, hell to all, Purdue, our friendship that she never left.
She's doing a very good job. <laughs> very good job, actually. I might have to take her home. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't test me no more, okay? Don't test me no more. Don't test me no more. You got a picture of me. I thought musicians were always fine. Now you want to go ahead of time. Win. Um, because I don't want to leave anything out. But that's one of the things, and I want to make sure that I give you the day. But I definitely want to make sure that um, you guys are interested in that. I need to know by um, by tomorrow. We'll put your, you know, send me an email and tell me that you are interested in doing it. Can we just tell okay. you right now? No, because I'm not going to remember. Okay. So just do my GX. Exactly. We also have... Um, hey, hey. We also have some, I'm sorry that I'm so uh, unorganized tonight, but I've been giving things up, uh, back and forth from everybody, like today. So I'm like putting my notes with their notes, and it ain't, you know, great. Uh, kiddos and uh, formal attire, formal attire, but it has been changed that we are uh, responsible for that. Uh, Ms. Lucas is supposed to be giving me uh, care instructions for the women. For your um, for your jackets especially, I'm not too much worried about the palazzo pants. Only thing I think the worst thing you can do to them is shrink them. But um, I'm really what I'm really worried about is the top because once that is ruined, it's ruined, and I'm really scared about that. So I hope that you guys hadn't tried to do that yet. I just want he's gonna give you guys like a sheet. Uh, would you please identify yourself, sir? My name is Brian Green. I am the choir captain for the Black Voices of Inspiration. I'm a sophomore. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, anything else? Okay. Uh, could you uh, talk to us a little bit about your role as the choir captain of the Black Voices of Inspiration? Basically, my responsibilities include with that job is, is getting the choir prepared, getting the choir vocally warmed up, getting everybody focused when, during performances, making sure that everyone's doing their task as far as the choir is concerned uh, before, before rehearsals, be, after rehearsals, cleaning up, those types of things. And I'm in charge of the technical setup also. All right, in your, as long as you've been a member of BVOI, mm -hmm. can you please share with us some of the exciting things about the Black Voice of Restoration that you have experienced. Okay, well last year was my first year um, and I had a blast. Uh, just the big thing, maybe the, the thing that just made it all worthwhile, the first thing was when we sung uh, the national anthem at the Colts game. I just had a blast. We had a great time. We were singing, you know, right dead center in the field. Uh, just a, a lot of fun. The, the, the uh, crowd was, was really into it and they won that. That was the first game that they won. So I really, really enjoyed that. Um, some other things, of course, the tour that we took to Australia, New Zealand, and Fiji. Uh, that's, that's a trip of a lifetime. I had a great time and met a, a, a lot of nice people. So, yeah, good memories. If, if there was one thing that you would like, if there was one thing that you wanted a sponsor to know about the Black Voice for Inspiration and its members, what would it be? That when we perform for you, you're going to be touched, you're going to be blessed, you're going to, to leave that concert feeling different, better than you did when you came in. And that's what, that's our, our motto is excellence and leaving something in the heart.
you please identify yourself? I'm Tamika Webb. Um, my hometown, hometown is um, Memphis, Tennessee. I'm a sophomore in nursing here at Purdue University. And uh, this is my second semester in the Black Voices of Inspiration. Is there a particular position that you hold in the Black Voices of Inspiration choir? I hold the role of student coordinator in uh, the Black Voices of Inspiration. Would you please tell us uh, a little about the role as the student workshop coordinator is? My position as student coordinator is really just being a liaison between the choir itself and between the administrative staff at the Black Culture Center, between um, the uh, assistant director of the center and um, our director, our assistant artist in residence, Mr. White. So I actually do liaison work. Ashley is being uh, administrative, making sure that things are being done, making sure that performances are going okay, and also just being kind of like a friend to the choir as well. What do you find to be the most uh, exciting challenge, most exciting challenge as a student coordinator? The most exciting challenge of being a student coordinator is being a leader and being a student as well. Um, sometimes it's hard to um, differentiate between the two because you're trying to be um, to be ahead of things, to try to be the leader, and at the same time you're going through the same struggles, if not if not same um, tough things that the choir is going through. So sometimes that's sometimes that's hard to do. Sometimes it's hard to differentiate differentiate between being a leader and being a student at the same time. You've been in uh, Black Voice of Inspiration for almost a year now. Mm -hmm. uh, could you share with the audience some of the exciting things that have, that you've experienced uh, being a member of the choir? Uh, among the many exciting things that I've done as being a part of this choir has been one of the highlights was going on the South Pacific tour with the uh, Glee Club and also members of the uh, Purdue um, musical organizations here. And um, that was so exciting. That was a first for the Black Voices of Inspiration to go abroad. So not only are we known in Indiana, but also known across the world now. And that was a really big thing for us. Uh, and if there was one thing that you wanted to leave the audience with, uh, that's listening to you, that's trying, you're trying to sell this choir to the sponsor. If there was one thing that you would like to share with them, what would that thing be about the Black Voices of Inspiration? The one thing that this choir stands for is to inspire people. And we're not like any other choir. When we sing, you know that it is sincere. You know that it's from the heart. And you can not only tell it through the words that they're singing, but in their expressions when they're singing. And it is, you can just tell that their whole heart and soul is in it when they're singing. So you, when you listen to the Black Voices of Inspiration, you would definitely be inspired. Thank you. That, that's oh, a light. He's at the eye. Yeah, oh, no. I'm looking at you on Fraxton. Yeah. You're fine. Okay. You ready, kid? Go ahead. Would you please identify yourself, young man? Uh, my name is Ben Wills. I'm a freshman here at Purdue University. My hometown is San Francisco, California. I'm currently in the undergraduate studies program, which means I'm also undecided, but I plan on going into some form of engineering, preferably mechanical engineering. Great, thing. Uh, would you kind of uh, uh, share with us uh, what it means to be a member of the Black Voices of Inspiration? Um, basically what, it, what I think it means to be a member of the Black Voice of, of Inspiration is um, I have a role in inspiring people in the audience. Um, whoever happens to hear us perform, just inspire them, just have them think about uh, some of the messages that are in our songs. And why did you join BVOI? When I came here for um, Boilermaker 2003, BVOI performed at the reception and that just left an impression on me. So when I got here, that's, I just wanted to be a part of it. Uh, in your short uh, tenure with VVOI, can you just share, uh, you know, maybe one or two things that you have really felt good about in terms of your singing or 
BDOI family or the friends you have encountered or could you just share you know one or two things that have really uplifted you since you've been a member of the Black Voice of Inspiration? Um, well I felt uh, personally very honored to sing at the President's Count in front of all the astronauts because that that was a real big event at homecoming so that was one thing. Um, also most of the members of BVOI I had previously, well um, a few I had previously met uh, during Boilermaker 2003 and uh, most I had known before I actually decided to become a part of BVOI um, after I uh, got here as a freshman. So most of the members of BVOI I had already become friends with but just being a member of BVOI had strengthened these friendships as long as, um, as well as made a lot of other friends. And if there was one thing that you would like to share with uh, the audience out there, whether it's a, a prospective student or a prospective sponsor, uh, what, would that, what would it be that lasting impression that you would like to leave? Just um, the perception of vibrance that we have that we bring to every rehearsal and every performance. Uh, would you please take a, a moment and uh, identify yourselves and tell us who you are and what you my represent? My name is Marshall White from Fort Wayne, Indiana. And um, I'm artist in residence here at uh, the BCC for the Black Voices of Inspiration. Uh, could you uh, expound and share with, the, share with us uh, what your role as the artist in residence of the Black Voices of Inspiration is? My role here is to um, develop professional ensemble vocally uh, to train the singers and prepare them for professional performances um, and uh, to basically cultivate the talent, whether it be much or little, uh, into a marketable product here uh, for the BCC. Uh, I noticed that you have been an artist in residence for the Black Voice of Inspiration for now, maybe concluding the seventh year. Um, of those years and in, in serving its tenure as the artist in residence for Black Voice of Inspiration, can you share with the audience uh, some of the things that you, one or two things that you really think has been exciting for you uh, as the artist in residence? Well, uh, the first thing uh, when I first got here, I, the most, I guess the greatest excitement is to see the group develop into a very strong, stable, professional university choir. And to see the group expand its uh, horizon and to see the group become more visible here on campus. Um, the second thing I enjoyed is the international tour that we took uh, in 1999 to the South Pacific. I think that was an extreme highlight uh, for the uh, Black Voices of Inspiration. If, 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 if of the three people that we've interviewed, everybody has mentioned that as an excitable moment for them. Can you, as the, the, the co-leader, uh, say what, what did that tour mean? What, did that, what was the excite, exciting thing about the tour? The tour was exciting, but what about the tour was exciting? I think the most exciting element for that tour was to see the two organizations come together and uh, to work together as two professional entities, which I think was extraordinary a step for Purdue University because um, in my six years here, I've, I've been informed that that has never happened here on campus, which I think that is a very mild, serious milestone for this university as well as for the, the BCC. And, and, and for the Black Voices of Inspiration in particular, outside of PMO and outside of Purdue Ed's, but for the Black Voices of Inspiration in particular, what was excitable about that tour for them? Well, I, I believe to be able to, um, to perform to audiences, they probably would not have had the opportunity to do so outside of uh, this uh, environment, um, I think that's the most exciting thing. And to see how the people basically enjoyed their presentation highly. I mean, they, their presentation was extremely accepted and uh, welcomed by the Australian audience, audiences and the New Zealand audiences, and especially the Fiji audience. So 
that's, I think the black voices of inspiration should be extremely happy that they were able to manifest or I would say minister their gifts in other areas of the world. Great. Let me get my face. Okay. In your tenure of being... <laughs> you know, so look at me. I know, it. it's you, man. You know what? I can't look at it. You be looking so serious, man. In your tenure of being here, if there was one poignant thing that you wanted potential members of the choir to know, potential sponsors to know about the Black Voice of Inspiration, what would that be and why? Well, um, one thing I would like to inform potential members is that when you become a part of an organization that has a standard of excellence, um, that organization happens to have a very strong belief in what they do. I believe that if we are trying to encourage more young people to come become a part of this organization, that they will learn a lot. They will develop, they will be um, enlightened vocally, musically, and they will be inspired. Um, sponsors, um, you can't go wrong in investing in young, people's, young people who are, who are striving for excellence. You can't go wrong in that. You, you would uh, basically, your investment would be worthwhile. And I believe that young people of this generation need to have more uh, opportunities to experience uh, professionalism in the university, on the university campus. And Purdue University Black Cultural Center is an extraordinary place for African American kids to come and learn their art form, uh, from dance to drama, speech, and vocal singing. So I would encourage all of those potential sponsors to become a part of the vision of the Black Cultural Center.
impact curve. Oh. accent there is. Oh, changes the whole feel there. Sopranos and altos coming in. They, you, you're coming in and you're basically teasing me. <laughs> and then everybody comes in and scares me. Oh, oh, okay, ready? All right. Sopranos tease me. Dynamics. Oh, oh, oh. Same impact. Come on. Oh. That is much for you two, okay? Because you got altos and, I mean, all you have to do is sing in the world of you. I know. That. <laughs> sing. Oh. What I want is the altos and sopranos to learn how to come up. How to go from oh, oh. Shout. 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 Bring out what's in you, you know? It's there. All you gotta do is go get it. Right? It's ah, not ah. Why are you not watching? I can't start. <laughs> oh, 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 sing. Oh, oh, everybody. Oh, oh, oh. That's the panels and altos in three parts there. You, soprano. Now you're going to ooh. Sing. Enter in thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray unto thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father, oh, I'm sorry, our Father, which art in heaven, our Father, our Father, which art in heaven, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy, hallowed be thy. Hallowed be thy holy. Say, Hallowed be thy holy name. Hey, that means wow. finish about. Time, time. Finish about. Time. Uh, Altus, what is that? What is that? Do that. 